Video no? Hmm. Started? Yeah. Okay, today I'll be showing you different nerves of the axilla. Every nerve of the uh, brachial plexus. Okay. So first that day we dissected this part. We have reflected the pectoralis major towards the shoulder joint this area. Then we have cut the pectoralis minor and we are reflecting this side. So this is the clavicle, focus here. This is the clavicle and this is the medial border of pectoralis minor. In between this is the clavipectoral fascia. And few structures we have tied here. These are nothing but cephalic vein and lateral pectoral nerve. So lateral pectoral nerve is a branch of lateral cord. Okay. Now we have cut this and we are reflecting here. Here we got nerves piercing. That is the medial pectoral. Medial pectoral is a branch of medial cord. So one one nerve we got. Okay now. Now focus this area. So here first nerve to identify is median nerve. And because of that we have dissected up to this arm area. And we have focused up to the middle of the arm. Now I want to show you here this W. So now these are the lateral root and medial root of the median nerve. That will become the median nerve. From the lateral root one nerve will come. That is called musculocutaneous which will pierce the muscle called coracobrachialis. And this from this median nerve there will be some more nerves. That is my mother makes me understand. From here we already got the medial pectoral. I showed you there. Okay. So we have to find out ulnar nerve, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and medial cutaneous nerve of arm. Out of this arm is the very thin one and it will pierce the half uh, middle of the um, arm only. It will pierce the defacia and become cutaneous. These two will follow. Okay. Now I will show all the nerves here. Come. Focus here now. So here when I dissected I got a nerve thick one exactly in the middle of the arm the median nerve okay always you identify the median nerve first and median nerve will be median nerve will be anterior to the axillary artery usually when the limb is usually abducted in this position okay so you go towards this upper part here here you get this w W or M whatever you want to say so this is the lateral root and this is the medial root okay this is the medial root here ha huh, yes good so this is the this some more structures are there so this is the median nerve and this is the lateral root you can see coming under cover and here one uh, nerve is going and piercing the coracobrachialis how do you know coracobrachialis because pectoralis minor and here because pectoralis minor and here same origin this is the coracoid process okay from the coracoid process coracobrachialis is coming and getting inserted in the medial half of the humerus so any nerve which is piercing the coracobrachialis this part so this is tapakunda musculocutaneous nerve okay lateral pectoral is here we tied it piercing the clavipectoral fascia musculocutaneous nerve and lateral root of median nerve Finish all three nerves of lateral cord over. Now medial cord. So medial cord, how to get the branches? Again, we have to take the help of median nerve. This median nerve, this is the medial cord. Little bit, few few uh, branches are there, so I don't want to disturb them. So this artery, this is the axillary artery. Okay, lateral root and medial root. Both of them, it will embrace the artery like this, okay, from both the sides like this. Artery will be in the middle. So, this is the artery and this is the medial cord, okay. This is the medial cord. This is the medial cord. So, this medial cord, now when I am lifting this medial cord, this whole branch, I tied together here just now. Pause once. So, now he is lifting the lateral cord nerves and the median nerve also so we can nicely visualize the axillary artery and the medial cord okay so this is the medial cord which i am showing and these are the medial cord branches so this completely is medial cord okay here the medial cord of the median nerve is little thinner and this is the complete medial cord and from here the biggest nerve will be the ulnar nerve okay so this is the ulnar nerve here okay so this is thicker one, this is the ulnar nerve and this one is, is it clear? This is the focus cord, close, close. Uh, 
this is the ulnar nerve and if you trace it from here trace it from here this is the medial cord okay you know no this is medial nerve lateral cord so this is ulnar nerve thicker one it is going down it will go up to here then next thicker one is the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm it will go by the side of ulnar nerve here also then it will become cutaneous in the forearm next another small thin one you notice this this is the toughest one to get this one it is coming and exactly in the middle of the arm if you assume this exactly in the middle of the arm it is piercing the defacia it is piercing the defacia and it is becoming cutaneous okay so this is called medial cutaneous nerve of arm okay okay so this is medial root of medial root of the leave it leave it leave it so leave 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 so this is the medial root of the median nerve then this is ulnar nerve this is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and this is medial cutaneous nerve of arm how many ho gaya four four and last one is medial pectoral nerve medial pectoral will be piercing the pectoral is minor now if i lift up everything lateral cord medial cord pura utha diya okay so when i'm lifting everything now this is the artery no lateral to the artery is lateral cord medial to the artery is medial cord and posterior to the artery will be posterior cord now this is the artery okay this is the artery no hold it so this this nerve this is the artery okay axillary artery so posterior to this axillary artery is this is the posterior cord now what is the continuation of this this is the radial nerve continuation branch of posterior cord is radial nerve so yeah already we tied the axillary vein actually this is nothing but the axillary vein which is tied so this what i'm holding now is the posterior cord and from here one by one we'll be finding out the other branches okay so this is the head of the humerus somewhere here only we'll get the axillary nerve then upper subscapular lower subscapular 